Hello, Lanny Hartman here, demonstration operator for Zergla Cat. Today I'm going to go over the, the daily checks and the maintenance points and lubrication points of the Caterpillar skid steer loader. As we walk up to the front side of the machine, there's grease points all around on the machine. We do have right on the top side of the cylinders here, there will be grease points up there. So all these grease points that I will be talking about is, is a daily, daily inspection that we do want to be lubricating the machine. If we would look in the manual, it will say when required. So if we hear a squeak, that would mean that we would have to grease the machine. Uh, otherwise, it's every 10 hours that we want to lubricate the machine. So I pointed out the two top ones there. We have some on these cylinders here, right down on the bottom side here. There's one there. There's one here also too. If we move down on the bottom side of the coupler, there will be a grease zerk on each side here for our coupler pins that go up and down. As we move to the side of the machine, we have a grease zerk on the side here for the bottom of the, the loader arms there. If we move back on the loader arms here, we've got a grease zerk here. We've got a grease zerk right inside here. It is on a remote line that goes to the bottom pin down there. We have a grease zerk hidden on the back side back here. This is the one that a lot of customers usually tend to forget about because it's kind of hard to see. But there's a grease zerk on the back side here. And then if we look up inside here, there's a grease zerk up here also too. We do have a grease zerk here and one here also too. So that is on the loader arm. We do also have grease zerks down here in the undercarriage. We have two grease zerks on, on the front side here for the torsion axle. There is a grease zerk on the back side back here for the torsion axle on the back side. So we want to make sure that we are lubricating the machine there also too. The grease zerks that I just pointed out on the front side and this side of the machine would be the exact same that we would want to do on the other side also too. The other thing that is on this side, we do have the hydraulic oil fill. There is also a sight glass on the top side here for the, to check the hydraulic fluid. So that is something that we do, do want to pay attention to and, and look at each day also too. As we move to the back of the machine, we can open the door of the machine up here. One thing we do want to check is we do want to pull the dipstick out to make sure that we do have enough engine oil in the machine. We do have a, a sight glass on the bottom of the fuel filter here also too. We do have the burp bottle for the antifreeze, the extended life coolant that is in the machine. We do have an air filter here where we do want to squeeze the bottom of this here to make sure that there's not a whole lot of debris that falls out of there. If there is a lot, then we would want to uh, replace the filter. Diesel fuel cap right there, that's where the diesel fuel tank is at. Up on the top side here, things we want to inspect up here, we want to open up the radiator package. On the very top side up here, we have the radiator. The bottom side here, we have our hydraulic cooler. There is a little sight glass right alongside the radiator fill cap also too. So we can take a peek at that to make sure that there is fluid in there also. So other things to look for is to look for any, any leaks or anything that is going on in the machine or any damage that could be, could be in there. So we want to inspect all of that. If you have any other questions or anything, please contact a Ziegler representative and we'll be happy to assist you. Thank you.